All right, folks, Mason Adlin here from Motor Mountain USA NTFL Car, and we have an interesting show for you. We're in New York, and that way up there behind me is the Whiteface Mountains, which stands at the highest drivable point, 4,610 feet, and we're about to go up it. But leading up to this point, there's been a big adventure. We've nearly run out of gas and gotten lost in the middle of the fields and woods of Pennsylvania. And uh, yeah, it's been a lot of interesting stuff leading up here. But here's the cool part. This is a completely different area than we've ever been exposed to before. And it's right next to Lake Placid, which is the site of the 1980 Winter Olympics. And it is beautiful. The whole area around here is gorgeous. Stay tuned, it's gonna be awesome. Look at this. How's that? How's that for how's that for luxury? Oh yeah. What time is it? It's uh, 520 a.m. for us. Coming from Colorado, it's really 3.20 a.m. Okay. Hey folks, we woke up at about uh, 4.45 in the morning. Um, and the reason why we really needed an early jump is because last night when we got to our camp, we pretty much ran almost completely out of gas. We are on fumes right now. We got to a point to where it said 30 miles range, the gas all the way at empty, and then, yeah, I see it, it's a left turn coming up at that light. Hopefully we are able to get through it. Anyway, um, and uh, now uh, for the past 20 miles, it's been, uh, on, or over, that low fuel, it doesn't even show how many miles are left, right. which is usually a pretty good indication with this system that we're on fumes. At this point, I think we're even slightly beyond fumes. We're going to, uh, Whiteface Mountain is located by uh, Lake Placid, New York, uh, site of the 1980 Winter Olympics. So we're really excited about getting there. We're really excited about the possibility of getting there, I should say. We actually found a gas station before okay. the gas station. Before we the need. station, they're a mile ahead, and it says swipe your card. Oh my gosh. I think I'm gonna swipe the card. Swipe the card. Let's see what happens. yourself, hey, Nathan and Andre were just in Canada, and you're right, we were there for a press event. And it's only a couple miles over there. This is Lake Champlain, and on this side is the New York side. The other side is the Vermont side. We're about to cross the bridge. And yeah, Canada is just like a couple miles that way. Woo! We're on our way to Whiteface Mountain. Just so you guys know, unless you have a military ID, it is $19 for two people to go up to the top. For the tollway. For the tollway. Right. It sounds like they have a parking attendant up top, so okay. we obviously do not want to um, just hang out in a parking lot. But here's the interesting thing about this whole area. This is the site of the 1980 Winter Olympics. Right. So there's a lot of history here just based on that alone. Yeah, Lake Placid, there's, you know, towns, hotels, everything. You can go bobsledding there. Yeah, they have stuff Jump for, into a pool. Yep, they have uh, like a ski jump that, where you can jump off of it and land in a pool. Stuff like that, which I wish we could do, but we're not going to do. Have we been here before? No. Welcome. Thank you. How does this work? Do we park anywhere where we can find a spot? Well, I mean, you got to keep, and I'm sure you can park anywhere you want, but what I would like you to do is follow the white arrows up to the castle, through the castle, spin back around, and park on the downhill someplace. Okay. 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 Gotcha. castle at the top was not White Castle, correct? No, they didn't have little square burgers or anything like that. As far as I know, it was just basically a top of the mountain that was built at the end of that road. And it was specifically built for visitors and also to commemorate war veterans. It looked, it looked really massive and solid, like an outpost. Absolutely. Um, one of the things that they 
prided themselves on is resembling castles from England. Mm. All right, time for the ceremonial New York sticker. special about it. It's, well, let's double check here, make sure this is clean. Don't want any bug poop underneath there. Roman gets really angry if there are bubbles, the stickers, and I'm not very good at taking my time with well, anything. So let's see, that's about right about there. Higher, higher! Seriously? No, it has to be perfect! That's it, this is, tell you what. Okay, uh, that's eeny, right. Meeny, that's... miny, Oh, look oh hey, hey, hey! I do what I want! Oh, now I got all messed up. Alright, here we go. New York belt buckle. Isn't that pretty? Hopefully, this hiding spot will last the month or so it takes for the video to actually go on screen. But we're not too far away from the toll entrance area for Whiteface Mountain. So rather than forcing you guys to pay the exorbitant amount of money required to get up here, you don't have to. As long as you have a little bit of initiative. So, a little rock here, some sticks, and More stuff. Where are the coordinates, Nathan? Oh, that. Everybody wants something. Here you go. Can you see that in this dark? Welcome to Whiteface Castle. This is at the very top of Whiteface Mountain. Now, the reason we're in this kind of dug out area where cars are driving through is because the winds are so heavy here that you cannot hear me. In fact, none of our microphones work, so we're sort of hidden from it. Now, this used to be known as Upper Toll House, and well, they thought that back in 1937, the name wasn't very good, so they changed the name to Whiteface Castle. The cool part about it is that this road is dedicated in this area to all the veterans from the United States who have fought in all the wars ever since the United States became the United States. It's beautiful up here, but because it's the upper Adirondacks area, one of the harshest environments on the planet. Very few plants actually grow up in this area. So there you go. We're at the highest point 